all right so now let's get started with our application so first let's open up uh, VS code so here we are just going to start the new project so I'm going to click on this and then go on uh, command palette then here if you don't see this new project you can just type flutter up here then you can pick this new project okay so i'm just going ahead and then click this uh, default application test and then now i'm going to pick the location where i'm going to save my application so this is my location where i save all my projects so i'm just going to select the same folder then we have to give our application a name so this one i'm going to name it as a flutter chat uh, pro yeah i'm gonna give it that name then i'm gonna click enter so the application has been created we can close all this so this is our default application now we just need to test it so to test it we need to uh, run uh, in our emulator so let's open up on devices here so if you don't have any emulators here uh, created let me show you how to create one before we open it up let's close that so we need to open uh, android studio so also android studio is a requirement you need to have installed android studio in your system whether you are on a Mac or on Windows, you need to install Android Studio and also you need to install Java. Okay, so let's open up our Android Studio. Here is my Android Studio open up. I need to open this same application that I've just created here. Uh, it doesn't need to be like that. I can either open any of this here, but let me just open what we have created here. Okay, so I'm going to click on open. And then I'll navigate to where the application is, which is this folder that I'm already in. Okay. So now I'm just going to click that uh, new application, which is Flutter Fire Chat. I mean, Flutter Chat Pro. And then I'm going to open. So here's Android Studio open on my other monitor. Let me maximize this. So the application is also open in Android Studio let's close that and close that okay so now let's uh, see how we create the, the these two emulators that i have in vs code so all you have to do is uh, you need to click on uh, device manager and then so these are the two emulators that you saw in my vs code so here all i need to do is uh, if i need to create a new device i need to click on create and then from here i can pick the phone that i want to use as an emulator so for my case i picked the pixel 5 and the 6 which are these devices that you can see here okay so you can go ahead and pick whatever you want for example if i pick another pixel 6 then i'll click next then here i need to select the or the operating system that i need to use here so if you don't have any any of them downloaded you need to click the download sign here okay so after you download it will be available like these two that i downloaded and then you just pick one and then click next and then from here you can either give it a name or leave it as a default like that and then now here you do show advance you can change this uh, you can change whatever you want here for example what i'm most interested in is to change this to hardware not using not automatic and then also here you can also give it the bigger ram and then also the bigger storage you can just change these figures and once you put whatever you like here you just click finish once it's finished it's going to go ahead and come up here on the list so i'm not going to create because i already have two so let me cancel this 
So that's how you create you create the emulators and then you can use them either in VS Code or in this same Android Studio. So but uh, this in this course we are not going to use Android Studio. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, close this Android Studio here. You can either code in Android Studio because even Android Studio has got uh, access to Copilot, which is what we are going to use in this code. All the way we are going to be coding while Copilot is on for faster coding. And then so that you guys can also see how quickly it is, how it uh, helps us effectively to code faster. And it makes just things easier. Okay. So Android Studio also has Copilot. As you can see, there's a sign here which shows that it's turned on but we are not going to use android studio we are going to use vs code for other people who doesn't have a copilot uh, the subscription of copilot there is an uh, the other alternatives like uh, Kodi. i don't i'm not sure if android studio also ha also has Kodi, but there is an extension in vs code i'm not really sure about android studio but if you have uh, uh, copilot uh, subscription you can either use android studio or vs code but i myself prepare uh, prefer to use uh, vs code so i'm just gonna close android studio here because i've showed you that's where we make the emulators okay so I've, i'm going to close android studio here let's exit and then we are going to continue in our vs code so let's open up that emulator again so here it is the i'm going to pick the pixel 5. so the emulator is working now we can go ahead and test our basic application here so let's click here and then let's run it so the first time it runs it takes a bit of a time so let's just wait for it So our application is running. You can see this is a demo app. We can test it like this. It, it's working. Okay. So let's minimize that. And also let's just uh, reduce the size of this emulator. At least like that it's, it's much better. So now uh, let's go over through this. First, let's, let me show you how we enable the copilot in VS Code and then We'll go back to Android Studio and also see how we can install it. Okay. So here, when we come back uh, here, on the extensions here, okay. Click on the extensions. You can see that I have a copilot enabled. There is a copilot and also Git copilot chat. So this, uh, the icons that you can s you see, I'm using this VS Code icon, and then they have Dart and Flutter installed, okay? Which is also the prerequisite for this course. You must at least have uh, Flutter and uh, Dart already installed in your IDE, okay? So you must, if you haven't installed Flutter and Dart, you, you wouldn't have made it this far up to here. So first, uh, you have to install Flutter and Dart, and then uh, that's when you make the application, and then you come here to the extension. That's when up here you can search for Copilot here. Okay, you can search for Copilot. So here, once you find it, you can just uh, pick this one and then enable. For myself, it's already enabled. And then it will only work if you go to your GitHub account and then pay for the subscription. It's about a uh, hundred dollars a year, which is uh, if you pay per month. I'm not sure if it's. Yeah, I think it's ten dollars per month. Yeah. So if you subscribe for a year, you it's a hundred dollars. So you can get these two and then enable them. Okay. So once you do that, the copilot uh, icon here, it will show up and then you, we are going to code with it. Okay, so let's close that and then let's go back. 
so while we are here we can also open up android studio again just to see how we we enable copilot in there but before we go there let's go back to the extension and then let me show you the other alternative so the alternative if you don't have a subscription for copilot you can search for Kodi. so this one here so this one is also an ai assistant so this one you can also install and then it will come up uh, this side with like it's, it's showing here so this one i've never tried it but i've seen some i've read through it i've seen it uh, works almost the same like copilot so if you don't have a copilot subscription you can also install this code the ai and then you will be able to code the same way we'll be coding here with copilot okay so now let's open up android studio and see how we install copilot so i'm going to open it up here okay android studio is open and then we are going to go let's close that first so once it's open we are going to go on uh, tools and then sdk manager and then here we are going to search for let's go to plugins we can move the emulator this side and then here that's when we can search for plugins okay so for copilot we can come up here and also search for copilot so you can see here is copilot which is already installed in my case that's why it's here and then maybe let's check if we can also install Kodi in android studio so let's search for Kodi don't know why let's search for Kodi so I don't think we have Kodi in Android Studio but uh, there might be other alternative maybe so for Android Studio I'm not sure which alternative you can use if you don't have Copilot okay but for VS Code we have Kodi so that's it about Android Studio let's close it again then let's close it now we have a test app working and then we have uh, we know now how to enable our copilot so in the next video we are going to start working with our application thank you guys and see you in the next video